I just wanted to show a little bit of how easy it is to go about starting your own seeds. And up here in the biodome um, that you can kind of see um, it, those plugs right there, those are there, they already have these little holes in them that you just drop the seed into there. And it works so good. Um, whenever I first got the biodome and started using the park seed seeds, and I was putting like two or three seeds in each plug because I'm used to in the past, the seeds not always germinating. Well, I was having to go through and thin them down a lot. Uh, and because you want to make sure that you only have like one seedling per little plug because you don't want them fighting over space. Because if, if there's more than one, they'll be fighting over space, over nutrients, over water, all of that. So you wanna make sure to try and you know each one have their own space. So you, you'll definitely wanna do that. So if you accidentally put in more than one seed at a time, you'll need to go through and thin them down. But what I've started to do is actually just put one seed in each little pod there, just because I was getting each one to germinate, great. So I was having such fantastic luck. And uh, so I, I've just been doing one seed in each in each hole and not having to go through and thin them down. So either way, whatever you guys wanted to do, if you wanted to put more than one seed in, that works good too. Just make sure that you are thinning them down whenever you do. And whenever you do thin them down, like in this picture, make sure you use scissors. If you go through and like tug, you can really disrupt the roots down at the bottom. So just coming through and just snipping right at the base and pulling them away. And that'll be, that'll be perfect for, for the roots and it won't disturb them. Um, and then if they're big enough, sometimes we use those cuttings and depending on what they are, we eat them too. We use them as like little microgreens um, or we can give them to our animals outside too. We have a bunch of chickens and pigs and all of that. Yes, I'm just like Nancy up there where she says, I weep when I'm thinning. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I do too. It, I, it hurts. It hurts. I hate it. So that's why I always try and find a use for them. I'm like, okay, I need to eat them or I need to find somebody who will eat them. <laughs> so we always use them. Or if you don't have animals or if you don't want to eat them, you can definitely still like compost them or do something. So they don't have to go in the trash. 